Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I went to Lidl the other day and they had these watercolour felt tip pens that I couldn't resist. They had three sets and I only bought two, but the, the first set that they had, the other set that they had, they were just the primary colours and I've got some watercolour marker type of things somewhere. So I thought I don't need the primary colours but this one here is a pastel set and the other one is I think it says dark colors or something like that. And I just want to try them out, really. Because it was little, they weren't very, very expensive. So let's swatch this yellow. I mean, in fairness, the cap looks very pastel-y, but the yellow now swatched out is actually quite bright. It's not that pastel-y, but maybe it gets a bit lighter when you wash it out. And I think I'll just swatch these on the top row, and the second set on the bottom row, and then I can just cut that and put them, put the strips in there so I've got swatches in there. And as you can see, they are um, double tipped. They have a brush nip on one side and then like it's kind of a bullet tip on the other side. And I think what I'll do, I'll swatch them all out now. And then once the swatches are dry, I'll go over with the finer nip. But they do really have a nice brush nip, it looks like. I hope I will be getting a mixed media sketchbook for my birthday, which is not long off, it's the beginning of July. So it's in nine, is it nine or ten days? It's, it's not very long off. And all these, all the watercolor crayons and watercolor pencils and now these watercolor markers that I have, I intend to use them in there. I'm sorry about my voice. I'm still, still haven't recovered from the cold that I've had for quite a long time. And this paper that I'm swatching on is just a bit of scrap paper. This is my um, Claire Fontaine Studio Pad. And it's just a scrap of a sheet of paper that I've cut down to smaller sizes and it does I'm not sure I think it's 25% cotton so it's not it's not a, a pure cellulose paper there's a bit of cotton in there and I thought these might probably benefit from that the so I'll hold this up here um, there's not much information on there apart from which side, which tip is, but there's no color information. There's no pigment information, obviously, because I'm pretty sure that those, that's dyes in there rather than pigment ink. So it's dye-based ink because it's a felt tip marker. But, oh, come on. This water brush that I'm using is actually also from Little, but I bought that I bought that ages ago and I've never seen it since I bought this. And I mean, literally mean ages ago because it was well before the pandemic even. So I wanna say maybe 2018. And it's a shame because they're actually, they're not that bad. It was a three pack though. So this one is the medium size one, I think. Yes, M. Um, and I've got a small one and the big one as well somewhere. They do actually wash out quite nicely. Oh, I should have made my swatches a bit smaller because now I need to cram in the green one there. This is what happens when I don't plan out my swatches in advance. When I'm swatching in my swatch sketchbook, 
I do make sure that I've got a grid in place, even though it's not very visible on camera, but there is a grid, so I stay. I get them all in and they're not good, good don't go all wonky. It's okay, some of them, some of these colors are actually quite bright for pastel colors. I mean, this pink is not very pastel at all, is it? It's almost neon. But they're still quite nice and they're... They wash out really nicely, so... If I just want to play around with mixed media and a sketchbook, they should actually do really well for that. So, let's do the dark ones. And I'll try and not repeat the mistake I made with this one. Should be a bit smaller in my swatches. There's a cat hair again. Because there's always a cat hair. Oh look, this one. You can actually see a bit of the initial swatch there yeah it says on the pack watercolor felt tip pens ideal for creative calligraphy sketching or coloring and six dark colors i would not necessarily call these dark colors just yet i would call them muted maybe this is kind of like a burnt sienna kind of oh but not actually when you swatch it out it's really light it's not as it's more like a muted orange oh didn't wash out my brush. Yeah, I mean, this is not dark at all. This is more pastel than this is. <laughs> I mean, this is if you want to draw people, and if you want to draw light skinned people, there's your skin color, basically. I don't have to do anything. Look how like that is. Okay, let's see how that... But again, if you look at them as muted colors rather than dark colors, then you're kind of there. That would work as a darker skin tone, I guess. I mean, that's quite handy, actually. So then we have a grey. Did it again. Light gray and a dark. Is it a brown or a dark gray? Oh, it's a dark gray. It's almost a paint's gray when you wash it out. Yeah. Because it's got like this bluish undertone. Oh, bluey green, I don't know. I'm kind of surprised that I actually like the pastel colors better than I like these muted ones. Even though if you consider them muted rather than dark, it's actually okay because they are quite muted. Okay, so here are the other watercolor pens that I have. There are eight colors in here. And yes, those are more like the primary ones. So... I think together 
if this is true to what we get. This is actually quite a good selection. So that should be nice to play around. And my mixed media sketchbook. So as I said, I'm going to see if these are dry. Yep, they feel fairly dry to me. Let's just do a big stroke and then see how fine this is. I'm sorry about the light, it just went really dark and I have to turn on the daylight daylight lamp because it's a couple of days or so after the summer solstice. So I did actually think it there was gonna be enough light, but there's clouds. No. And it's not super fine, obviously, but it's not fine. A fine liner tip. And you can get quite a fine line. Let's see, maybe. It's actually quite a fine line though if you use it on the side. And straight from the nip, the color is also, well, it's not really surprising that it's more pigmented and more stronger and more concentrated. Should be stronger than the washed out versions. But that's actually quite good. These are absolutely not going to be light fast, obviously, because they're dye based. But just for playing around, I think they're going to be really good. Oh, these are they dry? Well, we'll find out. I found another cat hair. I don't actually do much calligraphy and hand lettering anymore, but maybe I'll need to pick it back up again in order to got all these brush pens. Yeah, but I think I think sometimes you just want something to have fun and sometimes it helps to have a different medium and these were because I bought them at little so they were obviously really cheap but just for playing around they're good enough I've got two or three ecoline pens as well somewhere so it'd be interesting to see how they compare and those ecoline ones they only have brush nibs they're not double sided but they're also not light fast so they're also more like for playing around in a sketchbook or yeah but here they are i think on camera you can see the initial swatch even more than i can see them here but i don't mind that actually just have to kind of keep it in mind when you play around with them yeah but here are my new toys thanks for watching them with me kinda please give the video a like consider subscribing to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you very much bye now bye